and then we'll start over again, maybe with more PDFs. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. And now a word from our sponsor. All right. Hopefully, uh, the screen will show. Okay, great. So, um, matter of fact, I'll take these off. Uh, appreciate the time. I'll uh, I'll make this fairly brief. Uh, are you in presentation mode on the screen there? No. Oh, you are. Doesn't look like it here. Okay. As long as the keys work, I'm good. Okay. So. Um, uh, I was asked actually uh, at the table for breakfast this morning, you know, why did Quantum decide to become a consortium member for IRODs? And that's kind of what the, really, what I want to try to convey here uh, during this uh, uh, 10 minutes or less uh, discussion. Um, we, Quantum is a, about a 37, 38 year old company, um, and we um, are very actively involved in a lot of storage uh, platforms, including a high performance file system that also has capabilities of uh, federating different storage media behind it. And so there's a little bit of overlap that you might think exists between what Quantum does and what IRODS does, but I think what we have found is that we're involved in many customer environments where um, we actually coexist. So they, they find value in what IRODS does in addition to what we do. We've actually got a bunch of customers that aren't using IRODS yet that might be good candidates for what IRODS does. And uh, that's really why we decided to join the consortium, because we see that uh, the two solutions can work pretty well together. Um, and that's what I want to try to convey uh, today. So um, Quantum is, uh, is a company that, uh, sorry, I'm not seeing uh, screen two, so I have to kind of expand this a little bit. So Quantum is a company that uh, we actually participate in a lot of uh, industries where we see uh, the need for high performance um, analysis and work. Um, you know, we're very big in media entertainment, um, a lot of research environments, uh, universities, et cetera. Um, and we also have a data management platform where we more manage you know, how the data gets placed over the life of the data. Um, less about the type of metadata, you know, and discovery and things like that that IRODS does, and I think that's the, what the opening is for, um, you know, for the collaboration between the two, uh, the two platforms. Um, Quantum has a pretty extensive uh, portfolio of things, uh, you know, on the left we've got um, what I've been referring to as our store next place appliances, that's what I'll talk about today. Uh, we've also got DISC. Uh, object storage, um, we have, we offer gateway to cloud, uh, S3 connectors, et cetera. And uh, we have been in the tape business for quite a long time. We've got a, you know, market leadership position there as well. Um, and so, you know, our customers enjoy from us the ability to manage, you know, how data is placed on these various technology uh, platforms for storage um, and how that, you know, integrates well into their workflow. So the piece that I want to talk about really is, if you look um, on the, the left, that's the, our Excellus platform. It's based on Storenext. We've kind of appliance-sized things these days. So that's why we talk about the platform Excellus, but it's really based on Storenext uh, file system. And with that, what that allows us to do is you know, provide a, a high-performance um, front end to the data, and that can either act as just a cache or it can actually be petabytes of high performance storage where you do some uh, pretty substantial analysis. Um, and then integrated with that is, you know, is just policy based management of where the data lives over time and how copies of the data might get created upon ingest. So it integrates data protection capabilities, it integrates, you know, archive, long term retention. Um, makes multiple copies, that sort of thing, and that's what you see on the right side of the slide, um, where we can, you know, basically connect and we fa we basically federate the file space, you know, across all those media types. Um, so, um, and and we present all that as a single namespace. Um, so, depending, on, you know, it doesn't matter where the where the particular file that you're looking for is, you'll see it presented as part of the namespace. If it happens to be on one of the archive tiers and you ask to retrieve it, Storenext will automatically go grab it, bring it onto the primary disk space, and give it to you for analysis. And so a lot of customers, they may stage it ahead of time. If I know it's going to take an hour to get my data you know, off of, uh, you know, out of the cloud or off of tape or something like that, I might stage it the day before and, uh, and that sort of thing. Or if it's sitting on object storage, which is more of a near line uh, access, you know, I might have a little bit more latency, but I'll get it back you know, immediately. 
So anyway, so that's what Stornex does. That's what Quantum's appliance called Excellus does. And so how that would fit into an IROD's environment, this is kind of our, our vision of how things, uh, you know, are probably going to uh, work for a lot of our customers, is customers might have a bunch of local environments. And I've talked to a few of you already, and it sounds like uh, a lot of this is already going on. So I may have what we call a workflow where I've got the combination of my high performance storage with my uh, back end tiers. Um, those are automatically getting managed based on something that I've been doing for years in my environment. Uh, but now I also have the need to bring my workflow in with a more you know, enterprise wide type of workflow. I might want to do more discovery across all of my various workflows that exist in my environment. And that's where the layers of IRODs can really add to that. And so, of course, as we've joined the consortium recently, we've also, um, you know, can announce that, you know, we've completed, uh, you know, testing of our uh, compatibility. We've, uh, the Stornex appliance that we have, uh, I think, was tested with NFS. Uh, we've also got, you know, a fiber channel interface. We've got uh, InfiniBand, you know, iSCSI, things like that. So you can connect to it in any number of ways. Um, but this is how I think that a, uh, a bunch of our integrated environments might s um, satisfy some local workflows. Um, and I'll talk about what characteristics, you know, might make Stornext, you know, the right answer for that under an IROD's umbrella for a much broader uh, set of environments. So I'm going to have to read this slide, and I can't see my slides in front of me. So I apologize for that. Um, I'm just going to come out where I can see it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so anyway, so uh, matter of fact, I'm going to come over. Um, sorry for the camera. Um, okay, so what uh, the complementary value for Excellus is that um, it optimizes. So you basically create a storage pool that optimizes performance and cost, um, and you automate the placement of data there. So that's one of the things that we do. And of course, IRODs can do that as well, but you've got you know more more simplified policies um, as opposed to the the comprehensive set of uh, capabilities that was talked about earlier. Um, I mentioned it federates storage tiers into a single namespace, so I think you all get that. Um, it, mains access, it maintains access and visibility to all that. Um, you've got these local policies, which are really storage-based policies. They're not so much about discovery. They're really about how do I manage where my files are placed over the life of them. You know, at, and they're, a lot of them can be time-based. They can be location-based as well. So just a lot of more simplified policies with a, a GUI that you can interact with to set those policies. Um, and of course, we can host multiple namespaces. So even though we federate into single namespace, you can actually have multiple namespaces with, you know, still take advantage of all the same type of tiering and federation. Uh, and I talked about uh, the fact that we have a whole host of different types of uh, interfaces uh, that we can present ourselves with. <coughs> okay, now I'm not in the same screen. Okay. So, um, so what we've got then, uh, just a you know a little bit of a graph diagram. Sorry, for folks over there, but you can see. So we've got Excellus on the left uh, under an IROD's environment, and IROD's clients can access uh, Stornex now through you know the normal registered interface through IROD's, but you also have direct direct access capabilities. So you can have people that have the local workflow accessing all the files locally through their established workflow process if they want, or you can have, you know, IROD's workflows working over on, uh, on top of that um, and, uh, and just, you know, have those two play very nicely with each other. <clears throat> Sorry for the back and forth. <laughs> Easier than trying to figure out how to get my screen to work. Um, okay, so, and this is really the kind of the closing slide. So why would somebody, you know, want to look at um, implementing this, du this duality, this, you know, Stornex-based a set of appliances in an IROD zone. Um, number one, if you have a high performance workflow, of course we have the appliance, you know, an appliance that can provide the very high performance storage, you know, for a lot of the research uh, needs and demands that happen there. Um, if you have a set of users, and we do see this quite a bit, you may have a community of users that really don't have the strong IT staff or support to really put together all the IROD's pieces that they need at a local level. And you may not need that either. So if I just want a set of simple policies where I can, um, you know, have my various tiers of storage managed in the back end with some simple policies, tend to be time-based, managing my, the protection of my data and the long-term retention of it, that sounds great. And we also, of course, integrate with tape. And so typically, 
as I understand it with iRODs, you know, you need some tool typically to be able to access tape technology as well, which is certainly, you know, one of the key technologies for long-term <coughs> data retention. So we see if you've got environments that have that, then, you know, all of that fits well into the, uh, the type of environment that we talked about where you've got your local-based workflows, you can have multiple of those through an environment, and then you can federate all those through iRODs for discovery and, and uh, other types of broad management. So that is pretty much the vision. That's why Quantum wanted to uh, join iRODs, and I think we've got a lot of customers that are going to start putting the two together, um, you know, starting with one place or the other. So uh, thanks for your time.